World's oldest profession has landed nearly a dozen people behind bars. The prostitution arrests, the result of a Burlington police arrested six men and four police. women on charges Dude, of soliciting prostitution. prostitution. Mr. Mueller crimes. More than a dozen Investigators say the women are Beach all from the neighborhood. McGrath is joining us live with details on how this whole thing Women working Watt Avenue as prostitutes are not hiding. The suspects arrested during an undercover prostitution sting appear on the Sacramento Sheriff's Department website. An undercover sting netting more than a dozen arrests of prostitutes and Johns last night alone. Chipping away what police say is a quality of life issue for these women. Police say it's a pretty big problem. Too many women going to have sex for money and even more men with cash in hand. Suspects are all ages. Two are minors. Police say they make a couple of these prostitution things each year. They say it doesn't eliminate the problem, but it does manage it. And for the folks in the North Beverly Hills community, things will be peaceful and quiet, at least for the time being. The Bureau of Justice Statistics defines prostitution as the unlawful promotion or participation in sexual activities for profit, including attempts, soliciting customers or transporting persons for prostitution purposes, and owning, managing, operating, or providing a place where prostitution is performed. In 2010, there were as many as 11,000 prostitution-related arrests in the state of California and thousands more in other states. Those arrested face misdemeanor and or felony charges depending on the state. For example, in the state of Alabama, a person can face up to a year and $6,000 in fines on misdemeanor charges. While arrests relating to prostitution seem to be decreasing, it still remains a problem in the United States. How can prostitution be abolished or controlled? In the past, laws were put in place to eliminate prostitution by shaming those involved and stripping them of their rights. In 1075 BC, according to the Assyrian law, prostitutes were set apart from other women by dress. All women except for prostitutes and maidservants were to wear a veil in public. A woman unveiled was a mark of shame. In 438 AD, the Byzantine Emperor Theodosius II erased the right for parents to force their daughters and slaves into prostitution. He also did away with prostitution tax so the government would have no interest in prostitution. In 534 AD, the Byzantine Emperor Justinian the Great compiled 38 prostitution laws in the Byzantine body of civil law. One law prohibits the use of brothels, which are establishments where acts of prostitution are performed. Other laws affect not only the prostitute, but also the persons paying for their services. In 1158, Holy Roman Emperor Frederick Barbarossa punished prostitutes by having their noses cut off to make them look less attractive. In 1210, Castilian ruler Alfonso IX concentrated on people who profited from prostitutes. People, known as pimps in modern day terms, faced the risk of paying fines, being exiled from the kingdom, and even being sent to the gallows to be hung. In 1254, King Louis IX of France ordered all prostitutes to be expelled from the kingdom to be kept as far as possible from religious establishments and forced to sleep outside the city walls. Today, despite constant efforts, the United States has been unable to effectively control the rising rates of prostitution. While prior methods in our world's history seem to be effective, they are also pretty extreme. A method to completely eliminate prostitution today requires further research, as legal and ethical problems continue to arise. <laughs>